Welcome back. Before the break, we met our hands-on dad who's kicking goals big time, Heinzie, when it comes to feeding his two daughters. Totally. He's with us now, George Georgievsky. Mate, what a great job you're doing. The daily lunchbox grind is a, a big challenge for most uh, people. Uh, but as a dad, how did you come up with this idea? Well, basically, I um, started a few years back with um, trying to help out at home. There was all this commotion in the morning and I, I decided to, uh, to do my bit and lunches was the start. And so three years later, here I am creating some... Um, these types of nutritional lunches. I think what I really love is that your philosophy is sugar and wrapper free. How did you go getting uh, your kids onto that? Yeah, uh, initially I thought, okay, it's not going to be easy, yep. um, but they were not really, like as parents, I, I'd look after them like from a younger age as well, so I wouldn't necessarily give it to them. So uh, like the sugar and the, and the treats, so they'd get it as a form of a, as a, as a rare, treat I don't like to call it treat but I like as a rare junk food yeah so um, it was easier to like uh, you know not have as much in a lunchbox to start with and then speaking of the lunchbox can we just have a little bit of a look at this this is quite intricate I've got to say you've got mapped out here what should go in each compartment do we have to stick to this or can we be quite flexible uh, when we're you doing can, it? you can be flexible and what I like it like me being a dad I like things simple and laid out for me because I always forget so what I love is that each department uh, compartment I should say you got your protein fruit veggies dairy yeah. grains and you just can't help but put something in each compartment yeah and uh, it makes it easier certainly for packing lunches for me anyway it did and now uh, um, yeah you can take it to whatever you can take it to the next level i got to ask about school drop off now you're a bit of a celeb these days but how do you go you're an insta star right you got all these followers have you got mums drooling over you at the gate uh, i i don't really notice um, oh, i've only on, got i've George. only got eyes for my gorgeous no wife no need to be humble here no George. need come on uh, the way they do roll. it to us he's too it's really? okay <laughs> well i was wondering no not at all uh, i to be honest i've only got eyes for my wife cuz she's a stunner so i'm yeah. i'm really lucky that I have her looking at me. And I believe you've also got eyes for a gentleman called Jamie Oliver. You guys have done Jamie some work Oliver. together. Yeah, well, I recently got asked to do to be the ambassador in Australia for Jamie Oliver Learn Your Fruit and Veg, which is an amazing program that gets rolled out in school. So I get the, uh, the honour of travelling around like the Westfields around Australia, doing some high fives, some demos, and um, I still get freaked out by it. So Mate. I'm very fortunate to be part of the amazing We're program. Inadequate. This We're is yeah, pretty incredible. Time, uh, when my wife, Beck, is away, straight to the tuck shop for me, <laughs> <to> work, no <laughs> capability. But you've inspired me. That is a, it's, a, it's a piece of art almost. You must be uh, very proud of what you're doing. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it started off simple. Um, like, wife and I would go to a restaurant, and normally you look at the menu, and there's only three kids' options. Mm. Be, like your, your typical uh, nuggets and chips and the... And the, and the pizza yeah. so I thought why don't I reverse that wouldn't it be cool to go to a restaurant that would have like only three options for adults and all these amazing options for kids so I felt that I could do my bit so I got inspired by adult food hence your DIY tacos so yep. for kids for school um, like beautiful use of the you know, colors like the rainbow is a big source of inspiration for me yeah. and also the number five so when I pack lunches I use the number five so three veggies and two fruits I've got to ask, what do you do with the leftover crusts? Leftover crusts, I've got a heap of other creations that I, I use it with. So firstly, I either throw them in the freezer for later use, like um, croutons or breadcrumbs. I thought which you were going to say a crust icy pole, but yeah, anyway, no, go on. Actually, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> so um, what I do, that's the obvious one. Otherwise, I've got a heap of other creations. Like I make, um, believe it or not, like banana bread using crusts, leftover crusts. And I understand, George, it's your two daughters yep. who film a lot of uh, their content. <laughs> uh, they're budding young stars as well. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I get them involved as much as possible so whether it's um, when it comes to the food in this little lunchbox school lunchbox journey I'll try and get them involved as much as possible. Oh, do you have a look at this uh, it's very cute the two girls. Dad I was wondering can I have three last time I had it I was I was still really hungry can I have three? I'll give you three. Th don't say I was really hu really really hungry like there's just just say Whatever you want to say, but just say, can I have a third one or th a three? Sorry, I just tried to put oh. some acting into oh, it. Oh, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I awesome. love the feedback you get from your daughter. I've got a 14 yeah. year old daughter. I get plenty of feedback from her. Hey, before we go, I noticed a chess piece uh, on your forearm there. Is there yeah. any story behind that one, George? Yeah, uh, oof, uh, quick summary. I don't know if you've got tissues, but a quick summary is... Um, uh, as a young kid, my dad taught me to play chess and uh, I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest, but we weren't allowed to make a move um, straight one after another, so we had to think about it. So fast forward, first few years, a uh, day before he passed, he basically said to me, 
Remember that chess game? It was all about protecting your queen. She's the most important part. Hmm. And the queen could be your mum, your sister, one day your wife, one day you might have daughters. And um, so I'm basically thinking ahead, protecting my queen, because the king can only do one thing at a time on a chessboard. The queen does everything. And that's a representation of life in general with me, anyway, with my girl. So that's an inspiration to him. And that's his driver's licence signature that I had scanned from his licence. And that's their photo. So that's a reminder that, to, you know, I believe in love. And you are as hippie a as it good sounds. soul. You're a great soul. Your book's going to be incredible in July. It's very powerful. I'm stoked. He's an inspiration, uh, George. There's a fair few tears going around yeah. behind the scenes, if I can say that for sure. Powerful message. Thanks for joining us. And keep uh, those lunchbox ideas coming. Very inspiring. Great to meet George. Up next, the dogs are at it again. The canines that are keeping families together on the House of Wellness.